Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, today I wanted to show you guys how you can make two gallons of antifreeze with one gallon of full strength concentrated antifreeze. This applies to green stuff, red stuff, blue stuff, yellow stuff, orange stuff, purple stuff, kind of like Kool-Aid. But hey, you know what? Two things you need is a full strength uh, coolant. I got this from one from O'Reilly Auto Parts. This is going into a Chevy Tahoe that requires Dexcool. And the next thing I got is distilled water. Another thing you're gonna need, actually the two other things you're gonna need, a measuring cup and an empty one gallon container. Mix stuff in here, but I wanna show you guys this real quick. So let's see, I think I bought this for $14.99. It's best to use antifreeze that's cut, cut, that is cut 50-50. 50% antifreeze, 50% distilled water. You can buy it pre-diluted at, at an already 50-50% mix. I'll put a picture of that up right now. But then uh, if you buy it already diluted, you're only getting one gallon. If you buy it full strength and you cut it yourself with this video that I'm about to show you, you actually save money because you get two gallons out of one out of the price for one. First thing you do, I have a big large uh, measuring cup here holds four cups there's 16 cups in a gallon you cut that in half that's eight cups so you need eight cups of water and eight cups of antifreeze so then i'll pop this off okay now i'll fill this up to four four cups then i'll fill up my empty container with the four cups another thing to note is after you get done doing this my wife hates it when I do this, when I use her cooking stuff for things out in the garage. So your best bet is to go ahead, you need to wash this thoroughly with soap and water. And I like to run it through the dishwasher as well, just to make sure you don't have any uh, residual residue of uh, coolant or antifreeze in your measuring cup, because it is toxic to humans and animals. Okay, another four cups. Come back in here, fill our empty uh, one gallon container. Okay, now we're gonna add the uh, antifreeze coolant, whatever you wanna call it. So it is always a good idea, wherever you buy this stuff from, is go ahead, check, make sure that you have the uh, safety seal on here already. Ensure that it hasn't been tampered with. You wanna make sure you're getting pure antifreeze or coolant when you're uh, putting this in your vehicle. And we'll do the same, we'll repeat, we'll repeat the process twice. We'll put four cups of uh, antifreeze into the measuring cup. Okay, there's four. Okay, four more. Like I said, you can buy this stuff pre-diluted already. 50-50 mix already in a, in a jar or one gallon container, I should say. But why waste that money? I bought this distilled water from Rite Aid for $159 plus tax, less than $2. I got distilled water. This was 14, 14.99. And now I have, now, now, yeah, now I have two gallons of 50, 50 coolant antifreeze ready to rock and roll. All you gotta do now is add the rest of the distilled water to the antifreeze container and you're ready to rock and roll. Go ahead, come here, put the cap on this one. Don't wanna spill that stuff. And then you just pour the remainder of the gallon of distilled water reason you want to use distilled water is it has less uh it has less calcium deposits than tap water and calcium uh over time can calcify inside of a radiator causing overheating problems so that's why you want to just use that's why you want to use distilled water so there you go quick tip for today mix your own uh antifreeze by the concentrate make sure it says full strength if you go to the part store and you're not 100 percent sure Go ahead, ask somebody that works there, buy it full strength, get yourself some distilled water, empty one gallon container and a measuring cup. 16 cups and a gallon, cut that in half, that's eight cups. So eight cups water, eight cups antifreeze slash coolant. So stay until the end of the video. You'll see four more videos that are up there that you can click on to enjoy more Bunny's Garage as you're sitting on your couch or reading the newspaper, whatever you're doing. If you have found my video helpful, please consider subscribing to Bundy's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. 
You can follow me on Twitter, at Bundy's Garage. And like always, I'll keep on rolling for you.